And I'm Mike Tank. Parts of the Hoosier State are reeling from tornadoes. Now, more than 20 twisters tore through central Indiana this afternoon, leveling businesses, wiping out homes, and leaving victims shocked and confused, but alive. Oh, my God. That big tornado. This tornado shocked a driver Wednesday on State Road 931 in Kokomo, but it churned its way into the city and created even more chaos. Oh my God, Starbucks just got blown over. There's people in there. After the tornado passed through, emergency crews quickly arrived on scene. It's Kokomo firefighters just now breaking in this door at the back of this Starbucks. We're not sure if there might still be customers or employees who were inside. The people inside made it out, along with residents who narrowly escaped their homes. I looked out the window and seen a funnel cloud coming, so we went and got in the hallway and took cover. And the ceiling fell on us and it was over. Despite all the damage, no deaths were reported. All updates tell us there were no uh, serious injuries um, and uh, just a lot of property damage and tree damage. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor Dan. Governor Mike Pence was campaigning in North Carolina when the tornadoes touched down and headed back to the Hoosier State. Uh, and we're going to be home uh, so long as it takes for us to make sure that these communities have the resources and the support that they need uh, to, to put themselves back together after, uh, after these very violent storms. Now, the Kokomo tornado left a whole lot of damage, as you saw there. So, Jesse, any idea how severe that tornado was? Early indications from the National Weather Service that there were two that hit Kokomo, but the, the one was an EF3, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. That's very strong. As a matter of fact, that's probably the strongest uh, tornado in Indiana in August since 1969, so it has been a while. But it was not.